Come on, bring it, pickleball pigeon. Let's go, baby. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> So today we're gonna to work on the thing that has the biggest impact across your entire game, and that is your ready position. It affects your dinks, it affects your transition zone, it affects your hand speed, it affects your mentality, it affects everything, okay? So if you can get a good ready position, you're gonna win a ton more pickleball points. My ready position is the place where I want to defend fast balls. So, let's say I'm attacking Luke. Where can I attack, right? I can't just nail the ball at his feet. <laughs> Let me try again. I'll, tr so I'll try again, okay? I'll try again. All right, well, fortunately for Luke, if I just try to nail the ball at his feet, the ball's going into the net. But if I am going to speed this ball up, where is it gonna cross the plane of his body? One more. It's gonna be up around chest height, right? I cannot, in a dink rally, nail the ball at his feet. I can hit it hard towards his shoulders. The exception to that being, if I have a ball up here, I can hit it hard wherever I want. But then you have to look to, okay, well, why does my opponent have a ball way up there? Luke is gonna to wanna to defend the place where he's most likely to be attacked, which is going to be right at that chest level. We don't want this paddle to be way off to the backhand. We don't want to be sitting on our forehand. We want to be somewhere neutral, right? And the last thing is, we don't want to be super far extended. We want to be not super close in tight, somewhere in between. So all of that is easy enough to understand, but now how do we implement that? Well, one of my all-time favorite drills is a drill where we're gonna start with two balls and Luke and I are actually going to dink. And every time I hit my dink, I'm gonna bring my paddle right back to this other ball in my hand. So Luke, I'm gonna give you a ball. You're gonna do the same thing. This ball gives me an audible cue, a visual cue, and something that I can feel to help me change my old ready position habit. So one thing we want to avoid in this drill is the So make sure that we, as we're doing this, we hit and pin that ball to our ready position. Another common error I see in this drill is we hit and then get to ready position. We hit and then ready. We hit and then ready. We hit and then ready. Instead of having two motions, hit and ready, we wanna see if we can build our ready position into our follow through. Sort of have it one fluid motion. Follow through right to ready position. That way we don't have to think about it. That way our swing simply ends in our ready position. A lot of times our paddle is in a nice position, but look at the orientation of my paddle. Instead of having the top of our paddle pointed ahead towards our opponent, we want to have the edge of our paddle pointed towards our opponent. So you can see that real nice white Pro XR pickleball on there. That's nice, right? So the problem with having the top of our paddle pointed towards our opponent is if they hit the ball up high, we get caught in this position, or we get caught lifting. If we have the edge of our paddle pointed towards our opponent, then when that ball comes up high, we can simply punch that ball as opposed to lifting here. So one more time, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pin that ball to our ready position. We're going to follow through right to ready position. And we're gonna make sure while we're in that ready position, the Pro XR from our paddle is pointed across the net towards our opponent. So what you'll find here is when you return to a consistent position every time, your dink shots are actually gonna get far, far better. And that's because we're just starting from the same spot every time, as opposed to, 
okay, sometimes I'm gonna dink and my paddle's starting here. Or sometimes I'm all the way over here when I'm starting my dink. Instead, we're in the same position every time. The next element of this is working on our volleys. Once we get really comfortable at pinning that ball to our ready position, then we're gonna do the exact same drill and we're going to work on our volleys. Come on, bring it, pickleball pigeon. Let's go, baby. Ah, 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 yeah. An important piece here is a lot of times on these volleys, I see players get overextended, right? We hit one volley and we end up with our follow through all the way over here and then our opponent just clobbers us. Same thing as before where we're wanting to follow through right to our ready position. We wanna do the same thing with our volleys where we're following through right back to that ready position. <laughs> so obviously in a real match we can't use this ball but if you've ever seen somebody who slaps their hand to their paddle which you probably have they're probably working on giving themselves that cue for ready position so my recommendation if you are looking to fix or improve your ready position warm up with that with another ball in your hand and pin that ball to your ready position and then once you get into that match you can focus on keeping your other hand on the paddle if you can build a good ready position into your game, it's gonna improve every single element of your game. It's gonna improve your dinks, it's gonna improve your hand speed and your volleys, and it's going to improve your mental focus. So focus on ready position and it'll improve every element of your game. <laughs>